Hello friends, this is the part 3 video for the rewrite API. So let's have some quick recap. So in part 1, I have give overview about uh, permalink settings uh, where we can set a permalink structure for a post and the category and tag base. And we also, I also give overview about how to have a custom uh, rewrite rules or the custom URL structure for the custom post types and the custom taxonomies. And we have shown the uh, internals of the get permalink and the get tumbling functions okay in a second part i have give an overview about a wp rewrite class right so in this now in this video uh, i will give a uh, overview about how the url structure works like from starting to end how what is the how execution execution workflow is there how wordpress will identify uh, parsing the current request match the rewrite rules and based on that rewrite rules how WordPress uh, determine how identify what content they have, or have to fetch from the database and display into the front end. So let's go through one step by step. So first I will go through the post. So since we like uh, in the permalink structure, we have set up the custom structure for post. So let's see how this uh, structure works uh, behind the scenes. Okay. So I'm going to post. Uh, let's go to open the uh, block image, go to the view. So this is our URL success articles, then our category, then block image, which is the post log and the post ID. Okay, so I have installed a query monitor plugin, okay, which uh, is very helpful. And I recommend it to install this plugin in your local sites or maybe on your development sites. And this is this query monitor plugin is very helpful for the developers, which will give you a more insights of uh, actions and filters and what uh, remote api calls executed uh, if there are any php errors or queries or logs or anything okay so uh, in the query monitor in the request you can see that this is the current request okay and this is the matched rule so this uh, rewrite will have matched by the wordpress and this is the matched query okay and this is the query string okay so how this matched query and query string used to fetch the data from the uh, database okay so let's go through um, step by step okay and there are you can also check uh, you can see in the all matching rewrite rules so these are the other rewrite rules uh, matched by the wordpress okay but only top rewrite rule will be um, will be matched and will be used okay so let's go through in the code base so i have opened entire wordpress code base in my visual studio code editor Okay, so every request coming to WordPress will start from the index.php file. So if you open this index.php file, uh, it defines that uh, we uh, need to use the uh, themes to, to represent our content in the front end. And there are, uh, then it will uh, require the WP blog header.php file. So in the blog header.php file, you can see that it loads the wp load.php so wp load.php will uh, load the wp config file and our config file load all the settings so in the wp config at the end you can see the wp settings here and the wp um, settings.php file will include all the required uh, files from the wp includes folder and it will do a, a setups okay other setups so you can go through it uh, whenever you have some time or like while watching this video okay so i'm just uh, let's go back uh, to the wp block header and once all the wordpress loaded it set up the wordpress query by calling the wp function okay so if you go to that function you can see this wp function into the wp includes functions.php file so this function set up the wordpress query so how the wordpress query you know that the wp query used to fetch the data from the database right based on the given argument so either you can uh, fetch the post based on the text query meta query or by author by category by custom taxonomies right so you know about that uh, about wp query okay so let's go through it let me just close this now these files okay so wp function uh, has defined a, a WP uh, object, then WP query and the WP the query. So WP object uh, variable have a WP class object. Okay, 
and the WP query and the WP duck query will uh, use to store the global query, uh, uh, global WP query variable object uh, class object. Okay, so this uh, and this initialization done during the uh, including the WordPress loading uh, uh, loading the include uh, requiring the WordPress files. Okay, so the, the, this function will call the main method of the WP class. Okay, so if I go to the WP class here, and this is the main function and it's passed the query where it's currently it's a like a, it's a default uh, having empty uh, so it will accept either string or array but currently this class call without uh, passing the parameter so it will be a empty okay so in the wp class this is the main method okay so i'm just simply yeah this is the main method and this main method sets up all the variables required by the wordpress environment okay so uh, this method uh, i'm closing this file now okay so in this method uh, okay so before going that uh, i think this is very uh, it will be a continuous process so i would recommend it that uh, at some points you pause the video and do the same steps in your local uh, code base uh, in your local site so that you can continue learning so uh, you will also learn or the just learn this execution workflow at, at the same time step by step so you will have better understanding just in case because this is a very long process i believe and it may take some like uh, sequences and sometimes that uh, we may uh, miss some steps so if it's possible then also do the same thing parallelly by pausing the video okay so now uh, it will uh, call the init hook so in init hook it will get the current user okay and if it's getting the current user it will return uh, or it will set the global variable user current user so if user is already logged in then the current user data will be set okay so it if it's not then it will set the current user so it will set up the global variable okay so uh, now go back uh, to class wp file i okay um, Okay, so now from the init hook, it will call the parts request function. So let me just close this one of the two files. Uh, okay, so after initing, so it, in, in the init method, the current user will be set if it's logged in, user is logged in. Now it will call the parts request function. So parts request method uh, uh, will parse our request. Here you can see the WP rewrite uh, uh, object, class object, global variable. Okay. And here we uh, it uh, apply the filters do parse request whether you want to parse a request or not. So by default it's a true. If it's uh, if you are filtering and it's a false, then it won't parse the request. Okay. I don't know what could be the use case where we don't want to parse the request, but yeah. Then it says the query verse and post type query verse. So query verse. Uh, let me also give you overview a quick overview. So WP class have this public query verse. Okay. So this query verse used to identify the uh, query query strings from the URL. And these are the we can say maybe whitelisted uh, query verse. Okay. Which identified by the WordPress or used by the WordPress. Okay. And these are some private query verse used. Okay. Private query verse. Okay, then um, there's some extra query verse uh, and the query verse and these query verse we can like filter or we can also add custom query verse. So like when we need to add a custom query verse, we will see in another video. Okay, so uh, coming back to the pass request method. Uh, pass request method. Okay, so now uh, here all the uh, like uh, here you can see the WP rewrite rules, which is the uh, method of the, the uh, wp rewrite class and it will return the uh, rewrite rules from the database so rewrite uh, variable have all the rewrite rules and if it's not empty then it will do that okay we have the rewrite rules that means permalink settings is enabled okay so it's uh, the did permalink uh, property set it true um, then it will get the uh, all the request info here uh, it will parse the url um, then do a few break match and everything okay and uh, some of the other uh, processing is going on so i'm just keeping it right now okay and based on the request uh, matched request dollar on the dollar this request property you can uh, you can uh, set the request okay so let me also go through uh, in the front end so what i will do is that uh, in the our mobile library plugin in the rewrite api.php file what i will do is that i will uh, print the dollar wp object 
okay so parallelly we will see how things are going so dollar wp okay so if i go here and refresh you can see the wp class object here and these are the public query pairs uh, already set uh, statically private query pairs and here you can see the query pairs query string request okay and mesh rule mesh query and date permalink okay so let me just change this to a uh, template uh, redirect method so that we can have okay now we can see the query string also the request the articles uh, block and this is our request and based and this request will you uh, will be matched against the uh, uh, having the rewrite rules and based on that it will uh, set the matched query what is the matched query here okay so um, okay so go back to the wp class so here we got the request and then uh, it will loop through the uh, rewrite uh, rules array and it will uh, match variable will have the our regex expression and query will have against the index.php query okay so if the request uh, so in this array for each loop array it will go through one by one rules and whatever the first rule is matched then it will take that matched query so here our this uh, uh, rewrite rule have been matched here this one Okay, so let me uh, also check what are the query parameters set by the WordPress. So like by the rewrite rules. So if you go here, uh, I am commenting this out or maybe I will just uh, print uh, dollar rewrite, sorry, get option, uh, get options and rewrite rules okay so in this option name uh, all the rewrite rules are uh, saved okay uh, sorry not a get option it's a get option okay so uh, go, go back to the front end so here let me just copy this rule articles this one okay uh, copy and search it so now you can see that uh, this rule have been matched and this is the uh, query okay so here we are passing category name name or uh, name for the post name the dollar p matches the post id and page matches what whether it's a pagination or not okay so this query used uh, this query used to identify the values uh, from the query uh, from the url structure what value match and this query is category name name then uh, p query where the page will use to get the data from the database okay so we will also see how this query is used okay so if you go above so this match query so category name is a block because based on the regex expression we have passed this uh, dollar matches variable so regex expression uh, return this uh, matches variable and and it start from the first index and then uh, based on this uh, regex expression in the sequence uh, we it will return the matched query based on this uh, array indexing so our first uh, which was the category name so it will be a you know, it will be matched on a first index then with the post name which will be second index then post id will be the third index and if there is any page uh, inline post pagination using the page break you can do in the editor so that page number will match into the page query as a fourth index okay so uh, and that's why the category name equal to block name equal to uh, post name equal to block image and uh, p equal to uh, this uh, p query will uh, like relate to the post id which is 1788 there is no page or uh, pagination so page query where will be uh, empty okay and this way uh, this query where has been matched so you can go through this pass request and see what are the how these uh, rules have been matched and we will also see what uh, how uh, other other than the post permalink structure how the uh, other urls like uh, post uh, sorry archive post or uh, not post type archive page or the taxonomy archive page or or, or author archive page or um, single post types uh, custom post type single post or any uh, those kind of uh, thing okay so um, okay so you can go through it and then parse string will uh, parse string function will uh, convert the entire string with uh, into array okay in the array format and all things will be set okay and a few other things you can go through it this function i'm not going through each and every line but just saying that pass request method is responsible for 
matching the current request against the uh, available rewrite rules and whatever the rewrite rules matched first it will parse that uh, query strings okay as we have seen the category name and post id and the post name which is like post log and those query values will use uh, pass through the wp query so we will so go through this so in this function uh, there is a request para, a request for, uh, uh, filter applied which will use for the query words as well okay and uh, uh, at the last uh, the pass request action uh, will be executed so if you want to do something after the uh, once the wordpress completed the parsing of the current request then you can do something like based on some use cases okay and there are some query words uh query words filter also apply these query words and how these query words used to validate the uh, validate the custom query words so if you if you have if you are if you have added a custom add rewrite rule and you have added a custom query words then you can use this query words uh, filter to register that query words so that wordpress will set uh, get that the query where during the matching because if you this custom query do not match then it won't be said it won't be available within the wp uh, for wp class so if you go uh, into the here so uh, this query verse so your wp class have this query words uh, query words or pro uh, property in the array format and here if your custom where if your custom rewrite will have a custom query na query where name and it won't be registered then wordpress uh, wp class won't have here okay so for that we uh, we need it and we will go through that example in another video where how we can add a custom add rewrite rule to achieve or perform some custom request and give the custom response okay so at the time we will go through but this is the query words used to register our other query words okay um yeah so that's all about the pass request thanks for watching see you on the next one Jai Varpadesh.